Some of the key members of the England squad there talking about that nil-nil result against the USA on Friday. I was lucky enough to be at the TalkSport fan zone. I was DJing over there, Pell. It was, it was limbs o'clock before the game. The atmosphere was unbelievable. It was like we was in the final. And then after the game, very, very flat. Um, was there booze? Was there booze at the tavern? I, c- I could almost hear booze. It was definitely just a frustration from a lot of people. And, you know, I was there with, with the, the cat man, Andy Catchall and Carlton Cole, and everyone's talking about a particular player we'll get into in a moment's time because I know Colin's on the phone line on 03717 What was your initial reaction to that? Did you look at it as a real negative or, or did you just look? It's, it's competition football. It's knockout football. You look at what happened to Belgium today and all of a sudden, in, 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 with perspective, it looks like, you know, a result, a point, you know, pretty much through. I think... Um, what it was because of the euphoria after the Iran game actually yeah. where we were even right from the get go you could tell that we were like in, in excellent possession when it was zipping it about like the movement was really good creating chances everybody was like a, a 7 to an 8 9 yeah, out of definitely. 10 I think when we talked about booze they said after I said it was booze again we spoke about it there's booze where you actually properly boo your team where it's nasty it's really horrible yeah. when it up at the top of the stadium it's been like that a couple of times. I've been there at half time when yeah. it's like, but there's a a boo which is like a disappointment where you go, oh, it's more of a groan, isn't it? Where you go, oh, it's like the thing that not worried me, but um, when we weren't good in possession against the USA, kept giving the ball away, and we looked a bit disjointed. Normally, the likes of Sterling and Bukayo Saka, they're very good off the ball. They're very good at closing down, and I just looked at their body language a little bit, and USA were breaking our lines too easy. They were getting into our middle third far too easy where you know they weren't actually closing down they weren't tracking back so they just seem to be through the whole team a bit of a, a lethargy and all i try and do is say okay bad performance you draw nil nil you know say you get your four points but then you try and take the positives out and the one positive i thought i thought harry Maguire was absolutely absolutely outstanding i thought not just they showed his clips obviously like defensive headers and you know he was like head on a stick basically like heading everything <laughs> but i thought he was brilliant on the ball i thought on the ball i thought he's passing was the Harry Maguire that we have seen under Gareth Southgate before. You know, he just seems like he's got a bit more confidence. The other thing that worried me is Southgate still not making uh, changes and substitutes early enough. Not learning those lessons from the final... Against Italy, exactly. Yeah. And the same thing is it's screaming out for just change it at half-time. Even if you change the personnel, you don't necessarily change the, the team shape. It said uh, Mason Mount was... Mr. Sell- he was invisible, basically. He weren't for lack of effort, but it just wasn't working wasn't for him. wasn't a game for him. No. Nope. Yeah. Um, because Saka, um, I actually I hope he's rested because obviously being a goon, I've done him to get injured. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, uh, and Sterling wasn't at it. So he could have just said, OK, Foden and, and Grealish, you go on at half time and you give us that spark. You know, you give, and that's, we can talk about what changes that you, we both want made. I want us to go into diamond shape. Um, against Wales and I'd want uh, Grealish coming in I want Foden coming in so you have Declan Rice playing at the, the back of the diamond yep. Jude Bell on one side Foden the other and then Grealish at the, at the tip of the diamond and then Harry Kane and Ryan Sterling off of him just like so those three can all like interchange with each yeah. other so and if you're Wales and they're at, and we're at it and you've got those players Grealish and Foden and Sterling <sighs> all, and Bell in record that's exciting me just hearing it it's like the Red Arrows you, but so I just want Southgate to be a little bit more... Well, no, not a little bit, sorry. A lot more adventurous. 03717 What changes would you make? We'd love to hear from you guys. Let's head over to the phone line. Colin, who's a Spurs fan, I believe. Good evening, yeah. Colin. Hi, lads. Hi, lads. Hello, Perry, Colin. I think you're both great. Absolutely great show. Uh, Perry, do you know I like listening to you? you even though you're a gooner. <laughs> well, you, speak, you speak a lot of sense. But you know what? I just... I mean, it was you, like you said... You could see that Mount wasn't getting anywhere near Kane. No. Um, and he's coming further and further out. And then when Kane comes out and starts looking for the ball at the halfway line, you know, even if he breaks quick, we, he ain't up there. And, and that's the threat. You know I mean? That's the, that's the, we rely on him to be in the box. Colin, C- Colin, as a fellow Spurs fan, sometimes that game reminded me of us, like the way that Spurs yeah. can sink into that lull sometimes you know and everyone's so far exactly. back. Exactly. You bit it now on the head. Absolutely the same. I mean, I believe, I swear, I believe that Kane, the older he get, the I think he's world class. He's, I think, I know he's he scored so many goals. He's got so much more about him, Kane. He's gonna, he could be like a Perlo. If he was in the middle of, do play a four four two, you know, he used to have the the holding player and the other one could go. Yeah, he holds the ball like a world class player, and he can knock the ball all over the pitch. And I think sometimes a world class player like Kane, he, I know he scores lots of goals. He's just sort of wasted up there. 
think I think what it, it Carl, what it is though, what I uh, said before um, the Iran game and before the USA game, I don't want him coming. You said it's a bit like watching Spurs play, where when he Spurs play, when they go like the five four one, he's only five six yards in front of his like four midfield players. Yeah. He comes yeah. so I want him to say no. I will tell you what, stay up. I want you to stay up yeah. and and it engage the two centre halves because when Spurs play, you can't get out because no. he's he's exactly. so deep. So with same, England, same you just, way, Terry, all the time. Yeah, you just say right. I want you to stay up, you know, you have your little bit of closing down, but you stay there because when he holds a block, which he can, which is one of his massive tramps, because he's got, like, basically he's uh, got an ology and just backing into centre-halves, holding the block, then you need runners that go in behind him. So I'd be saying, actually, get your rest during the game. Don't drop back so deep, because we need an out. And that, that doesn't happen. That's why perhaps we need to see someone in midfield like, like a Foden cold, so it allows Kane just to stay there. I cannot believe that Mount wasn't... I mean, Foden always wants the ball. He's so lively. He wants the ball to his feet all the time. He moves, and there were so many times that we're looking around, and they've got not a, a, a ball to go forward. And, and he gets himself into space. He looks around him. He wants the ball to his feet, and he turns really quick. And we're looking around, and Mount's over there. Mount's over there. He's not knowing he came for a start, and we're just passing back. There's no options. Joe Cole, it surprised me. Some people said, and some of the pundits have said that, maybe Gareth Southgate doesn't trust Phil Foden on the defensive side, that he doesn't close down. What did we say? You just laughed there. What happens when you play for Man City? You, you can't not press if you're a Guardiola player. If, exactly. if you don't put the work in, you're not playing. Exactly. That's so, what Greenish found out very early. Man yeah. City. Unbelievable Man City. He's, he's been brilliant for them. The way he plays, he's, he's been like, and then all of a sudden we've got Mount, and we've been really, yeah, I like Mount, but he ain't been great for Chelsea. No, he hasn't. And so, Chelsea fans will tell, tell you that. Yeah. Then, if you're going to put someone in that, Position who can turn really quick and wants the ball and feed him and he make things happen. Foden's your man. I don't think. When are you going to make the change? When are you going to make the change? He's done. bring him on. So, Colt, are you in the Shearer camp where he thinks that Harry Kane should be rested against Wales? Or you? No, he's got a play because he needs a goal. Well, you know what? If what do you do? I know you as know, a Spurs want... fan, you want him rested. Obviously, you don't. <laughs> get, you don't even get him injured, yeah. do you? But you know what? I'm an England fan as well. And I just, if he can try and nick an early goal, which, listen, the thing is, you know what? There's not a great team. I don't I've been impressed by anybody apart from France. I agree. This is a big chance for England. This really is. And everyone, as it, as it goes on, big teams are nervous. But I just think we could, we can get a great result against Wales. We're going to go through. We might, you know, it's never an easy game. They're going to bump into France. But I just think this is, this could be there for anyone. And I mean, score- if you play on the day and you start buzzing, you know, you can you can win a cup. That's what it's all about, a cup, isn't it? Any score predictions, Cole? Right for, for, for Tuesday, any score predictions? I think England... I don't think Wales will score for a start, and I think it's the way we start. Absolutely. Let's go at them you from know? the... from the Release the hounds, as you keep saying, Perry. That's exactly. what I'd like to see. It, it just start on the front foot and you have... Get a, the job done. Yeah, a few little fresh legs, and then if you're... Hopefully, you're two for an up, then you can start saying, all right, come and have a rest. 